paano nga ba? Or how do you manage your expenses? Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Coach Hans. So, this is part 3 of the secrets to uh, being financially free or secrets to financial freedom. So, nabigay ko na yung overview nung limang process or limang steps to be financially free. And then, yung sa previous, uh, na-discuss ko yung uh, managing your income. So, that's basically uh, the first step that you need to take or the very first thing that you need to do you have to have income or money coming in kasi yung topic natin ngayon is basically managing yung expenses and this is the most difficult part uh, basically ng entire process managing your expenses so paano nga ba? or how do you manage your expenses? Before we start, uh, again guys, we still have our 1,000 subscribers giveaway. So once we reach the 1,000 subscribers uh, sa channel, I'm going to give away an Adidas Mad Bounce basketball shoe, a Remax portable fabric Bluetooth speaker, and a Starbucks porcelain tumbler. And of course, again, marami pa yung susunod. Uh, the Lazada... A tripod video uh, or even actually the tripod itself is up for grabs uh, kapag naka 1000 views yung specific video na yun, I will raffle it off to one lucky viewer na nag leave ng comment for that specific video alright so guys panoorin yun mag leave kayo ng comment and then kapag naka 1000 views na uh, pamimigay ko yung uh, Lazada tripod na yun Alright, so, uh, before I go into explaining yung or giving more details about managing your expenses, let's try to do an overview of uh, managing your income. So, like what I said, uh, first you have to have money coming in. Uh, now, if you already have a job, find out if there's any way that you can increase your pay uh, sa current na trabaho mo. Analyze it. Is there any way na pwede mong mapalaki pa yung sahod mo? Uh, whether getting promoted or doing something else. Availing of other bonuses. If there there are bonuses dun sa company mo. Uh, kapag meron, gawin mo. Ngayon, kapag wala, you have two options. You either find another job that will give you more money or magkakaroon ka ng opportunity to actually earn more. And kung ayaw mong gawin yun, you still wanna keep the job you have right now then your other option is to actually find a second source of income whether a second job sideline online selling uh, using whatever you have your talent or kung ano man yung available resources mo ngayon alright so that's basically uh, managing your income in a nutshell now yung susunod which is Managing your expenses, like what I said before, or a few minutes ago, uh, this is actually the most difficult, uh, primarily because this is where the discipline actually starts. You're going to have to change uh, your entire lifestyle uh, in order for you to really manage your expenses to a certain point na uh, hindi ka na mababaon sa utang or mapagkakasya mo kung ano man yung kinikita mo or magkakaroon ka ng opportunity to spend less, earn more, save, invest, and so on and so forth. Alright? So, uh, bakit siya mahirap? Kasi kagaya nga sinabi ko, you're gonna have to change your lifestyle. Uh, dito na papasok yung, uh, yung mga sinasabi nila na li, uh, live within your means, uh, yung mga meron pa dyan yung mga social climbing something or whatever uh, yun so ako 
how do I do it? Let me let me tell you pa, paano ko muna siya ginawa or paano ko siya uh, ginagawa. So, what I do or what I did to start it off is I analyzed kung ano ba talaga yung mga ginagawa ko or pinagkakagasosan ko in the first place. So, what I did is I literally listed down lahat ng mga ginagasos ko on a daily basis. So, nagsimula ako ng uh, daily basis na gastos. So, for example, in a day, ano-ano yung mga ginagasos ko? Pamasahe, pagkain, lahat. Lahat yun. And then, uh, pag na-assess ko yun on a daily basis, I check yung weekly naman. And then, after weekly, yung bi-weekly, and then monthly. So, I check kung ano-ano yun. Now, kapag nalista ko na yun, doon ko titignan kung alin doon yung pwede kong itigil. As in, like, outright stop. As in, like, uh, talagang ititigilan kong, titigilan kong pagkagastusan. Uh, and you have to be very honest with yourself kapag ginawa mo yun, ha? Lahat, ultimo, candy, yosi, uh, soft drinks, snacks, pambili ng load, yun. Lahat yun, kailangan mong ilista. And then from there, dun mo, dun, dun, dun ka magsisimula mag-eliminate na mga pwede mong tigilan na gastos. Uh, of course, marami dyan na hindi mo pwedeng tanggalin or hindi, you, you can't stop. For example, yung bills, hindi mo pwedeng stop yun. Yung pambili ng pagkain, hindi mo pwedeng stop yun. Pamasahe, and so on and so forth. So, kapag nalista mo yun, so ako ganun ginawa ko, and then I started looking into ano ba yung pwede kong tanggalin. So, dun pa lang, na-reduce ko na kagad yung mga expenses ko. So, for example, uh, at, at, at first, what I did is yung parang uh, mini, binawasan ko yung pagbili ko ng mga unnecessary things like uh, soft drinks. Instead of na mag-soft drinks ako or mag, yeah, mag-soft drinks ako every meal, uh, either I just drink water or yung free juice sa office may free juice sa office namin uh, yun dun pa lang siguro I already save uh, depende sa iniinom mo soft drink anywhere from uh, 10 15 20 25 or even 30 plus pesos uh, per meal eh kung ginagawa mo yun ng 3 times a day let's say kumakain ka tatlong beses so, that's what? 90 pesos agad kung 30 pesos. Ako, ang lagi kong binibili is Pepsi. So, Pepsi in can is around 31 or 32. Depende sa 7-Eleven. So, 90 pesos agad. Sabi natin 30 pesos. So, that's 90 pesos agad na nasisave ko on a daily basis when I stop basically buying soft drinks every after meal. Uh, of course, may health benefit yun. But that's not something that I was focused on at that time. I just really want to have... Uh, I, I really just want to reduce yung gasos ko. Another one, ito, this is what I live by now. Uh, I only buy what I need when I need it. So, paano yun? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Dati, nag-grocery ako ng weekly, actually, even before, pagkasahod ko, mamimili agad ako ng groceries for an entire two weeks. Uh, which is Okay. Kasi at that time, kaya naman. Well, actually, hanggang ngayon, kaya kong gawin yun. Now, the problem with doing that is yung pera mo na pinambili mo dun for that entire two weeks, nakatali na yun dun sa pagkain. Now, okay lang din kasi kakainin mo naman yun eventually. Now, the, the downside to doing that is there are instances na minsan, since nandiyan na yung pagkain, wala pang two weeks, nauubos mo na yung pagkain. So, hindi mo na ma-manage yung yung portions or portioning ng pagkain na yun para umabot siya talaga ng two weeks. Uh, another downside to that is, if for example, you need money, uh, an emergency or something that you really need to pay now, yung pera mo nakatali na dun sa two week worth of groceries. So, wala ka ng pang expense or uh, wala ka ng money pang expense. So, ang ginagawa ko ngayon, is I buy what I need when I need it. So, pagkasahod, bibili ako ng, let's say, isang buong manok, and then baboy, gulay. And then I would only buy additional groceries to supplement that kapag ubus na yun. So, hindi ngayon ako natitengahan ng pagkain sa ref, hindi ako nabubulokan, and 
na ma-maximize namin kung ano man yung pagkain na binili ko. And kapag naubos na yun, saka lang ako bibili. Ganon din sa pagbili ng bigas. Dati, I used to buy, siguro, half, half a sack of rice. May time pa nga atik, bumibili ako isang sako. Pero, ganon din. Pag naando na yun, nakatali na yung pera mo dun. And, kung, kung yung sahot mo is something na hindi enough to really supplement all of your needs, wala, nakatali na yung sahot mo dun. Yung pera mo dun sa ano na yun. So, now ang binibili ko, I buy 5 kilo rice uh, per purchase. So, bibili ako ng 5 kilos, kapag naubos na yun, or paubos na, saka lang ulit ako bibili. It gives me uh, the opportunity to actually use my money on things that I actually need immediately. Yung may immediate need ako. So, for example, so, 5 kilo lang yung binili ko. So, syempre, magkano lang naman yun? Mga 200, depende, 200, 250 pesos, depende sa price no, per kilo. So, ang magagasas ko lang doon, 250. So, kung ano man yung sobra sa pera ko, I can use it either to supplement yung panggas ko, uh, pamasahe, pangkain, or bills that I, I, I need to pay immediately. Uh, yung sa school ni Luis, na kailangan magbayad agad, yun. Or, let's just say na nagkasakit ako, kailangan ko bumili ng medicine, I would have that money. So, that's the very first thing that I did. Uh, I only buy things uh, when I actually need it. And of course, is another thing is uh, that I did was basically stop buying unnecessary things. Yung impulsive buying ko. Kasi dati, minsan kapag may nakita akong sale, kahit na hindi ko naman kailangan ngayon, bibiling ko. Another thing, uh, yung mga money trap sa, sa, sa mga mall. Ano yung money trap? Yan yung mga nagsisale sila. May engganyo kang bumili. Even if you don't really need it. So, for example, yung mga bumili ka ng dalawa and then, or buy one and then buy the next one at 50% off. So, minsan, even yung mga buy one, take one. Minsan, pag nakita mong sale, kahit naman hindi mo pa kailangan bilhin yun, binibili mo na. Kasi nga, sale, naiingganyo ka, uy, mura, ganyan, ganyan. Now, the problem with doing that is, yung pera mo, andun na. Eh, paano kung kapusing ka? Paano kung, uh, let's say, singiling ka bigla ng pinagkakautangan mo? Uh, kapusing ka ng pamasahe? Wala na, nakatali na. So, ako, kahit na sale pa yan, kahit buy one, take one pa yan, let's say yung pabango, lotion, or something, or anything, kapag kahit na buy one, take one pa yan, or kahit na sale pa yan, 50% off, or anything, kung meron pa ako nung gamit na yon or nung bagay na yon hindi muna ako bibili. So, I always make sure that I only buy what I need when I need it. So, in a way, ang nangyayari nun, yung pera ko, o yung, yung sahod ko, nai-stretch ko. Kasi I don't have to buy unnecessary things Uh, during times na I really don't need it. So, that's why I always ask myself, do I need this item na right now? Pag, if, I, if I want to buy something, kailangan ko ba siya talaga ngayon? Pwede ko ba siyang, can I live that day without buying it? Mabubuhay ba ako or, uh, or something? If hindi ko binili yun. Kapag sinabi kong yes, okay naman, edi I won't buy it. Kasi meron pa naman ako eh. Uh, pag hindi ko ba binili ito, titigil na ba yung mundo ko or something to that effect. So, ganun. So, that's the very first thing. So, ang dami kong ginawa nun. Uh, for example, one of the things that I develop, parang habit or force of habit, when I'm stressed, I always go to a happy place which is, lagi ako nag-Starbucks nun sa umaga pag stress na stress ako. Makain ako ng uh, Uh, Belgian waffle, strawberry Belgian waffle. So, it's like my uh, comfort food at that time. And then, of course, maka frap. So, tinanggal ko yun, binago ko yun, and then I replace it with something else to deal with whatever stress that I was feeling or kung ano man reason kung bakit ako na-stress. So, I stopped doing that. Uh, ano pa ba? So, soft drinks, yung mga unnecessary purchases, uh, yun, yung mga Starbucks, Starbucks na yan. Uh, well, I... Okay lang ha, guys. Don't get me wrong. Okay lang bumili nun. But for me, during at that during that time, because what I was doing was, uh, I was trying to increase yung paso ng pera. I was trying to learn to manage my expenses. And at the same time, I was trying to get out of debt. 
uma- I'm trying to pull myself out of pagkakalubog sa utang. Remember, I told you guys na umabot ako sa point na para lang umabot ako sa susunod na sahod, I had to pawn my wedding ring. And actually, my, my, my was worse pa doon kasi minsan pati yung wedding ring ng asawa ko nasasanla namin. Just so that we can get to the next pay out. Yun, may pamasahe kami and so on and so forth. So, we really looked into yung, ginaga, yung ginagawa namin on a daily basis kung ano yung pinagkakagasasan namin and we started eliminating things that we were doing that were unnecessary that we can actually live without doing I think that's that, that's uh, something that you should always tell yourself can I live without buying this can I actually survive without doing this buying that and so on and so forth if yes go And again, you have to be very honest with yourself when you're assessing kung ano yung mga pinagkakagasosan mo. And I understand, of course, meron tayong mga uh, gasos na talagang kailangan natin. Lalo na kailangan natin pagkagasosan. Lalo na kung pamilya tayo. That's why it's really important that you manage yung pasok ng pera. Kasi, uh, for example, kapag may anak ka or may pamilya ka, hindi mo pwedeng tipirin yan sa pagkain, for example, or hindi mo pwedeng pabayaan yung gastos niya sa school. So, you really have to find other means to cut down your expenses. Uh, dati nga, tinray pa namin yung magbaon, hindi rin naman nag-work. Uh, iba eh, this is going to be a trial and error for you kasi it, ha- it has to fit your lifestyle, it has to fit your needs, depending on your needs, depending on your lifestyle, depending on the needs of your family. So it has to be a self-assessment and it has to be really be really personalized or tailor-fitted sa iyo. Uh, you can even do a certain for example instead of uh, magmotor ka since mahal yung mga gas ngayon nasa I think nasa 55 na ata yung unleaded baka pwedeng mamasahe ka instead of mag mag magmotor ka or magkotse. Right now, sa amin, ang parking, 140 pesos overnight. Panggas ko pa. But the only reason why I still do it is because may kapalit yun na mas malaking bagay para sa akin eh. This is the compromise that uh, I always tell myself. If it can buy me more time, I don't hesitate spending on it. Kasi... Again, ang oras natin fixed yan. 24 hours yan. Hindi na yan nakahaba pa. 24 hours a day. Now, if I'm gonna do something, if I'm gonna buy something, or if I'm gonna spend on something, and then yung kapalit nun, is gonna, it, it will allow me more time in my day to actually do something else or to, 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 to do my work, I don't hesitate spending money on it. So, for example, ito, yung, uh, yung kotse ko, o yung kotse namin, kahit na mas mura ang mag-commute, papasok sa office namin, compared to bringing a car, I still bring my car. Bakit? Kasi, yung difference ng commute time, kung taga-kabiti ka, alam mo to grabe, sobra. Versus, yung pag, pagdadala ng kotse, lalo na ngayon may PITX. Muntik na ako mapamura dun, sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, ang comparison ng time difference nun is there are instances na pag nag-commute ka or nag-commute kami dati, it can take anywhere from an hour to two hours. Pag minalas-malas ka, lalagpas pa ng two hours yung commute mo. Pero, kapag may dala akong sasakyan, I'm in control. I can, pwede akong mag route kung may traffic. Ako, I can drive at my own pace. And basically, the commute time Uh, can be trimmed down to anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes. Yung, yung matitipid ko na one hour, one and a half, or even more sa commute, one way lang yun guys, ha? by the way, pag taga-kabiti ka, one way lang yun. Uh, yung, yung oras na nasisave ko na yun, basically, anong kapalit nun? It helps me have more time to rest and with that additional rest I can actually do more sa trabaho 
At the same time, with those extra hours, I can do other things outside of work. Uh, for example, I can spend more time with my family. I can uh, eto, do videos, uh, YouTube, go out, uh, and do other stuff. So that's where I compromise pagdating sa expenses. Ngayon, kayo, if, if you don't have the liberty or the... If you don't have the convenience of those type of compromise, then kailangan talaga natin magpursige. Disciplina talaga. You really have to start eliminating. Now, this is another thing that you need to consider. After eliminating yung mga expenses na yon, pero kulang pa rin yung pasok ng pera or kulang pa rin yung budget mo, then you need to get more income coming in. Kasi sometimes, managing your expenses is not enough. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na kailangan yung first two things is simultaneous yung gagawin. Managing your income and managing your expenses. After eliminating all of the things that you can eliminate sa mga gasos mo, and then kulang pa din yung pera mo, hindi ka pa rin umaabot, then you need to start earning more money. Dun mo ngayon ipofocus yung energy mo. Kasi wala ka nang pwedeng tanggalin ba sa gasos mo eh kailangan mo pa mag-isip ng ibang paraan para mas pumasok pa yung pera. And sometimes, kapag umabot ka na sa point na ngayon, na ganun, you have to give up a lot. Yung convenience mo sa trabaho, let's say, kaya ayaw mo umalis sa trabaho kasi convenient, then you need to give it up. Find another job that would actually pay more. Again, napakadami ng opportunities ngayon uh, with, uh, with BPO, meron dyan yung online teaching, Uh, ang dami, ang dami ngayon eh so you have to consider that uh, getting another job or a different job that would actually pay more so ano pa? ano pa yung pwede natin gawin? so managing your expenses uh, bawasan yung mga unnecessary purchases buy the things that you need only when you need it yung the things that you want it has to take a back seat It has to temporarily stop. Temporary kasi eventually, kapag na-manage mo na, kapag natutunan mo na, or na-discipline na, na mo na yung sarili mo on managing your expenses, and once you've improved yung pasok ng pera, eventually, you'll, you'll have the opportunity to, to actually start buying what you want again. Uh, uy, I forgot. Another thing that I stopped doing was yung splurging on... Uh, electronics. For example, dati, pag may bagong phone, bili agad ng bagong phone. Or, I would want a new phone. Kahit naman, okay pa yung luma kong phone. Or something. Yung mga load. Uh, dati, naglo-load pa ako so that I would have either uh, internet even if I'm not at home or at, the, at work. So, tinanggal ko yun. Unnecessary yun. So, nagtitiis ako na uh, hindi ako mag-internet until I get to a place meron, na mayroong free wifi. So, sa office namin, may free wifi. And of course, sa bahay, meron ding wifi. Or quite sa ang lugar. Dun. And then, I really, I really didn't, basically, I, I stopped yung buying load. Ano pa ba? Uh, yung mga ganun bagay. So, you really have to start managing your expenses kasi that would help you Uh, mapagkasya yung kinikita mo. And kapag kulang pa din, get more income. Uh, minsan, yung sinabi ko sa uh, one of my previous videos, yung, pal, yung, yung naging ugali natin was mangutang. Unfortunately, pag nangutang ka, lalo na pag may tubo yan, wala, talo ka pa rin dyan. And kapag hindi mo nabayaran, papatong at magpa... Uh, I mean, dadami-dadami yan. So, kailangan mo talagang turuan yung sarili mo na mag-manage ng mga expenses. Pagkasyahin mo mabuti yan. Uh, another tip is, for example, diaper. Uh, bibili ka ng yung madami, yung mga 40 pieces. Yung 40 pieces, I'm sure, lalagpas yun ng isang kinsenas. So, sobra pa yun. So, ba, wag kang bumili ng ganun bumili ka ng yung tama lang. Let's say, yung take to 20. Pag naubos, bili ka ulit. Kasi at least, 
So I'm sure yung 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 difference sa price ng 40 pieces versus 20 pieces malaking bagay yun. So at least you'll have you still have money to to actually use sa mga dapat mong pagkagasosan, pamasay, pangkain, gamot, whatever. All right. Uh, ano ba ba? There's a, there's a lot more kung saan ka pwede makatipid pagdating sa expenses. Uh, if you have suggestions or tips or kayo, ano yung ginawa nyo or kung meron ba kayong ginagawa to, to manage your expenses, leave a comment. Tulungan nyo ako. Tulungan. Excuse me. Magtulungan tayo. Uh, let's teach each other para ma-manage natin yung mga expenses natin. Share your And then, if you have your own experience on managing your expenses, share it. Don't hesitate to share it. Wag kayo mahiyang mag-leave ng comment, guys. Uh, share it to everyone. Uh, again, uh, experience is the most valuable teacher. And if you've experienced something that uh, you've learned something from and that really ha- has helped you with the way you manage your expenses, please share it. Leave a comment. Share that experience so that Anyone else who, who has or who can or who will read that comment will already know how to deal with that type of situation that you've already gone through. Okay? So, uh, I think that is managing your expenses. So, again, just to do a recap, uh, managing your expenses, you have to assess kung ano yung mga ginagasas mo on a daily basis, weekly, bi-weekly, up to a monthly basis. And look at it. Ano yung pwede mo doon tanggalin? As in like totally eliminate. Uh, instead of buying in bulk, buy in a certain quantity that aabot sa susunod na sahod. Uh, ang, ang goal doon is para yung pera mo will not be tied down doon sa binili mo uh, so that you can actually use it for something else. And remember to always uh, Only buy what you need when you need it. And then, of course, uh, ano pa ba? I think that's it. Eh. Uh, if you have any suggestions or other things, yun. And then, of course, if, if after eliminating unnecessary purchases and hindi pa rin kulang, you, look, you, you go back to managing your income. Find another source. Focus on improving or increasing yung pasok ng pera after doing it. So again, that yung dalawang yon kailangan it, it should work hand in hand. Uh, because once those two pag na-master mo yung dalawang technique na yon or yung dalawang steps na yon, doon lang doon ka unti-unting makakaalis or doon doon ka unti-unting makakabangon sa pagkakautang. Ganun yung ginawa namin. And tulungan kami ng asawa ko dito, hindi lang ako. It has to be both of us. And of course, kung may pamilya ka, uh, kasama din sila doon. You have to explain to them kung bakit hindi natin kailangan, hindi natin muna pwedeng bilhin ang isang bagay na to uh, or bakit kailangan ganito lang muna bilhin natin and so on and so forth. So everybody in the family that you're supporting should be in on the strategy. Tuturuan mo din sila. Kasi they play a big role uh, or a big part in your expenses and kung saan napupunta rin yung mga income mo. Alright? So, tulong-tulong yan. Uh, it's never easy. It will never be easy kung mag-isa ka lang. Mas madali yan kung lahat kayo sa buong pamilya magtutulong-tulong. Okay? So, I hope this will give you a better idea on how to manage your expenses together with managing your income so that eventually, kapag nagawa nyo na yung process na yan or yung yung cycle na yan, ma- maalis na kayo sa pagkalubog sa utang. Which, I am a testament to that. Believe me guys, nanggaling na ako dyan sa, nanggaling na ako dyan sa lubog sa utang na yan. And, ito lang ang ginawa namin. Although, again, hindi siya madali. Mahirap siya. It takes discipline. Discipline. And, babaguhin mo talaga yung lifestyle mo. And, kailangan buong pamilya, tulong-tulong. Uh, next, Siguro yung next video natin, yung saving, uh, saving money, investing money, and then taking advantage of utang or debts. I'll try to make it into one video kung kaya. If not, 
hatiin ko na lang sa dalawa kasi I think yung, yung dalawa na yun medyo mas madali nang i-explain yun okay so again guys that's it uh, thank you for staying with me medyo mahaba tong video na to uh, I'm sorry uh, I apologize kung ganun siya kahaba but thank you for staying with me I really hope that this will help you with your finances uh, if you feel that this is helpful or will help you guys please share it share it sa Facebook or kahit saan, share nyo sa family nyo, papanood nyo to. Kasi I really want everyone uh, to experience, and may, may experience yung nangyayari sa buhay ko. So that everyone, each and every one of us, will be financially free. Or, yan. Again, uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for watching guys. Uh, this is Coach Hans. Always remember that being the best is not an achievement. It is a lifestyle. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.